to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the react flow so in this video we're gonna be looking at the pro version of react flow because before that like uh, i have already created the video on these you know, like free version like custom node update node distress and these all the node like drag and the easy connect so all these three features i have already covered in my later videos but if you want to make new video on this again so i'll create on it so i just want to talk about the pro features of this like there are pro things so the code is not given over here so you can't copy the code so you need to first purchase this one and after that you will be able to see the code and make the changes so there are few things like into the pro version that i wanted to talk about like uh, we don't need to buy that one we can automatically customize by ourselves and we can use it easily so we just need to do a little bit uh, customization by ourselves into the free version and we will be able to achieve this pro version as well so let's go one by one so first we gonna see this say pro so into the shapes i have already created the custom node video on that so into the custom node you can just automatically round this say by changing the html css of that shapes so you can create multiple shapes like this and you can just name it and whenever you have to use this so you just need to uh, put the name of that and it will create that node for you so let's suppose you want to create the diamond node so you just need to create a one custom node with the diamond name and just design it like that and you can use it into the react flow render so that's how you can use this ellipses hexagon so any kind of like cylindrical so any kind of node you can create into by using the custom node okay it's up to you how you want to design that node and you can do it easily so there's no anything like you can it's need to purchase anything over here okay so let's move to the resize and rotate so there is little bit new enhancement like you can uh, increase the size of this node decrease the size of node but i think like it's also this is also easy that you can increase and decrease the size of node and also in react js it's very easy to do that because these kind of features you just need to just include uh, a small kind of library like this you included movable so you can just include that library and you just need to bound that one into the node and it will be just showing you this kind of thing so when whenever you will drag this kind so it, it will go into the handler and it will send some data to you as you just need to put the data into the css of this node and it will impact that automatically so that's kind of features like we when we go with the javascript so we do those kind of things so it's it, it is also simple javascript nothing else so if you want to buy for this one so i would suggest like just go with the free one and just try to implement by yourself so it would be like it will save your money and it will give you a little practice on this so you will learn something from there so also let's move some other so i have also created a video on custom edges so if you want to see like you can check out my later videos as well so there are few things like uh, i just wanted to cover into the free version as well you can see touch device interaction props validation dra drag and drop is already created collision detection so these kind of things i think in the free version are newly added so we can look into this so i'll just surely create the video on these so after this video they're gonna be one series that in that i'll cover this pro version by customizing the free weather and also i'll cover few new topics into the react flow as well okay so let's check this out collaborative work so in collaborative say this example show how to build a collaborative graph for the multiple users with react flow and yjs so this change is made in this graph are visible for all the users so you can see this is kind of this kind of flow you will see over here so i think this is the normal one that you can use and also there's a drag and drop is given over here so this is also created so you don't need to buy for this one but there is no nothing like that you can't made by yourself okay so this is very easy you can do it by yourself and you don't need to i i, I suppose like you don't need to buy for this one you can create by yourself you just need to do the state handling and you can create the graph like this okay and let's move to the next one auto layout so there's some directions are given okay and if you click on any direction so it will auto layout that one and it will show you into the like a specified manner that you want to see so let's suppose left to right okay so you can see it's looking good so it's auto layouting is this one and showing you this kind of scenario like it's kind of tree it's showing one node and the two children nodes so this kind of scenario it's showing and all the nodes have the equal spaces and all the things so design wise also it looks good 
So same thing for the like uh, you can see another direction top to bottom so you will see this kind of scenario so you see so this kind of auto layout so it will automatically stabilize all, all the nodes and maintain the spacing between them so it will look good to you like look like a tree so that kind of thing is written over here auto layouting okay so there's also one library is written over here so that library if you want to check out so you can check out it later and you can also use it for customizing your react flow so you don't need to go for the pro version i don't suppose like i won't uh, suggest to go for the pro version because it's very easy to implement those things by yourself so you can do it by easily but this one also so same i'm just saying so if these are the there are the four direction that it is given top right bottom left so in both in all the direction it shows you the auto layouting thing okay force layout let's check this out one so force layout is little tricky so there's a d3 library is used for these kind of so this is kind of look like neural networks or something like that so there are multiple nodes are interconnected and each are so you can see this kind so it's not movable as well if you try to click on that and move so it won't be movable so it's kind of created like a tree so that also you can vary it from here so like strength or something you are varying this kind of scenario it's used this library d3 force that's why it's looking like this otherwise it would be similar so this is a little tricky so i'm also looking at this so once i will figure it out i'll let you know about this one as well i don't think this is also difficult okay so once you implement this library and you will get achieve this kind of scenario as well expand and collapse it's very easy i think because i have also used this one because this will show you the tree as well okay so let's suppose this is your one node and if you click on this so you will see some other file structure as well over here so let's suppose there is one folder example so if you click on this example so you will see another files inside of that one so same kind of scenario for other files as well let's suppose license is given over here so if i click on license nothing gonna happen because this is a file okay and if i click on assets so you can see if i click on assets so it's showing me the icons so whatever like any of the node is getting the source node over here so it will give you the file inside of that okay so if i click on vs code it will use settings.json if i click on it so there's no source node so there's nothing gonna be after this one but icons have other files as well so these icons gonna be inside of this so same this file structure we can create it easily just we need to maintain the data structure inside our use state hook and like in other files as well just maintain this data structure you, you can achieve these kind of scenario and also you need to handle some functions like on click and all the, all the things so once you click on this so you need to just uh, render the inside of that uh, files inside of that so some kind of children and parent and children scenario over here so that we see into the file structure like this one so this layout is your parent and inside that all the topics are children so if i click on this so you can see it's getting minimized and if I do, so it's maximize, so it's showing all the children. So this kind of scenario is also over here. So this, I don't think this is uh, typical, but we can implement it. So I'll also show you this uh, code base, like how we can achieve this one. So later it's gonna be coming into that. Workflow builder starter, this is very, very, very easy. I have already shown into my videos as well. Like that one custom one, that was custom one that was not using the React flow, but it is very sim simple. You just need to have one node over here, one node over here. You just need to make the design changes into that. So this is also custom node. This is also custom node. So both the design have different and this is the dashed line. So you can achieve it easily. Once you click on this, you will see this kind of thing. So plus is getting inside the edges. It's very easy. You just need to just add the one HTML over there inside the edge and you will get this kind of button. And once you click on this button, you will get another node. So it is very easy. You can achieve easily. So for for this one if you want to buy don't buy it okay so it's very easy you will find in my videos as well i have already created a similar kind of scenario so i think that's it and apart from that there are some hooks okay there are some uh, helper function and all the things styling things so tailwind turbo style base style these things you can use for styling your nodes and apart from that this is the layout layout things and also these are the interactions these are the edges like edges related and these are the nodes related okay so these are the nodes related features pro features and in edges there is no any pro features but there are free ones like edge markers floating edges so these we gonna cover in, in coming videos because these are i think new features so i haven't made the video on that but i'll sure i'll make the video and i'll let you know so in layout there are four topics and workflow builder 
this new one expand and collapse so these are the topic very important so if you want to go for the pro feature so i would suggest before going on the pro feature give yourself a little time and just try to implement by yourself into the free version and if you won't be able to don't worry i'll implement it for you so i'll give it to you all the whole in free okay so just keep in touch guys next video will gonna be one of the one of the new feature and we'll try to implement that if you like this video hit the like button do subscribe the channel and thank you so much guys thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video